left ventricular assist system, which is something brand new, and we actually have someone here tonight who's got one. So uh, this is Krista Schmidt, uh, I think I heard her say from Chicago area. <laughs> uh, but she's with the Thoratec company that created this device, so I'm going to turn it over to her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, did you want to come up on me, or you want to just stay where you're at? I can. It's up to you. It doesn't matter to me. I had ventricular fibs, so 
to put a defibrillator in, and I've been through four defibrillators. And um, then back in June, I had a heart ablation, and from that point on, I started going downhill, and um, my organs were shutting down, and I don't even really <coughs> treated to, uh, or transferred to St. Vincent, and they had me in the cath lab, and I guess I died on the table at the time, and uh, they couldn't get me stabilized long enough to get me to the operating room, so they brought the operating room to me, and they actually put a heart lung machine that on one side, and then they put the LVAD on the other side, and um, I guess over time, you know, I was progressing and they were able to remove the heart lung machine and keep me on the OVAD and adjust my meds, and um, after about six and a half weeks, I finally woke up and started coming to, and I wasn't, you know, drugged up enough to where I could start healing up and going to therapy and everything, but I'd spent just a little over two months in the hospital. I got out October 5th, and um, I, with the heart pump, I'm feeling better now than I did, you know, before I had the operation. My endurance is better. I'm going to cardio rehab now to build my strength up because I was in the hospital for so long. But I'm liking the results of it. I mean, if it wasn't for it, I wouldn't be sitting there now, you know. So they do work. Thank you. So 8,000 people like this worldwide, most of them are in the United States. There's hundreds and hundreds in Chicago, and St. Vincent is one of our um, busiest centers from a tech perspective. So these people are out there. There's more than, um, I think, I think I saw 530,000 cases of heart failure that die every year. Um, over 100 would be eligible for something like this. My point is that these patients aren't going to go away. They're just going to keep, there will be more and more in the community. Um, so let's start from the top. So this is my mock loop, okay? So this is what he has in his chest. Not this tubing, the tubing's not in there. That's my mock loop, I fill it with water so I can give you alarms. But this pump is real, okay? All VADs, whether Thoratec makes them, whether it's on the right side or the left side, all VADs have a few things in common. Um, they all need an inflow. So this is the inflow. It's put directly into the left ventricle, in the apex of the left ventricle. It screws onto this blood pump right here, okay? This is the actual pump. There's one moving part in here. It's called a rotor. It's like a propeller of a boat, okay? So the blood is continually drained from the um, diseased left ventricle, drops into this blood pump, and is propelled forward out through the outflow graft, and this is attached to the ascending aorta, okay? What you have here, and what he has in his chest is essentially a mechanical left ventricle. Everything else about his body is the same. You can give him the same things, you can do the same things for him, his body's gonna react the same way. Um, everything else is the same. He perfuses the same, um, oxygenates the same, mechanical left ventricle, that's all, okay? So this actual pump, so again, this is real, this is fake. Ignore the tubing. So the actual pump sits in what we call a preperitoneal pocket on the left side. Okay, so they do a full sternotomy in the OR, they open up the chest, they extend that incision about three inches, and they make almost like a little pita pocket. Between, uh, and they place the pump between the layers of fascia and the abdomen. You can't hear it, see it, or feel it without a stethoscope. Okay, so this is not something that if you were to um, transport him to the hospital or something like that, that you would hear with just your ear, you would need a stethoscope. Okay. You can put your ear against my chest in here. Usually not the case. <laughs> <laughs> That's what 